hi friends welcome to tech advice channel uh, so in this video I'm gonna teach you that how can you get your Google BigQuery data into Google Sheet because sometimes we need to uh, create actually some uh, uh, pivot table or sometimes we need ad hoc request or sometimes we need an automation report uh, as per our requirement and we need to uh, share with our client or share, submit uh, our uh, as a project so sometimes uh, we need to export data into Google Sheet. So for that we got currently sometime uh, so many uh, friends we are using Supermetrix, uh, Fivetrans, any and uh, so many other th third parties. But uh, today I'm gonna teach you a super solution without any costing like a uh, Google App Script. Yes, friends, uh, you hear already Google App Script, but today I'm gonna uh, use that one for importing data from my Google BigQuery. So in this method, you no need to use any third party and you can schedule that query also. And, and this one is absolutely free. So friends, uh, let's see how can we create that script and we can import, how can we import, let's see. But before that, if you are seeing my channel first time, then you just subscribe my channel and, and press bell icon for get new videos. So friends, let's see so first of all we need to visit my uh, google uh, console cloud console like uh, i have different different project so i choose one of my project so here is my project ads so you can see here my project here here also you can see that is showing that project ads hug ads so uh, from here, I choose one uh, table like this one, this table, uh, to this one. So I query, then I select here, select uh, what I need here, date, date, country, category, weight, drink, hour. Okay. So here I need data like you see this this one is my uh, date partition table you can see here and here also is showing the date you see partition table so I need like uh, April first okay so let's see run so you see here uh, it's my result and 79 rows so here is my uh, result so I want this result I want this result into my Google Sheet. So now let's see how can we create a Google App Script. So for that, we need to visit our Google Sheet and create a new one. So this one I created before. So I now I delete. Now it's a blank. Okay, so you create a new new uh, Google Sheet, and then you go to Tools, and then you can see that Script Editor. So now it's open already. You see, I already created this script, and uh, one by one, uh, step by step, I, I'll, I'll describe. Uh, what is what does it mean? So now you can see here. I already create a query as per your demand You can create your query So now main thing is that you need to copy and paste This script into my Google app script. I will write this one this app script uh, in description You can copy and paste in your uh, app script and then you can run then I need to paste here and do uh, you see here group by also I did already group by yes group by also and order by date and you see here I can I change this one as a four and one so from this table this data will come okay 
and I need to change this one as the ADS okay as I'm, I'm project is HAG ADS so now you see uh, I'm going to save this one and one thing print as I not added here here uh, so you need to copy header from here from BigQuery header and you need to paste here so here is my header and my data will be get it from O2 so now let's see run then after that I'll explain one by one uh, so okay run and let's see so here is the magic you can see the data is here so let's see the same data or not 70 So let's see here data here so in 73 it means here maybe have some duplicate let's see here i not did the uh, group by so group by here i need to do then it will be same yes now you see 72 and here you see 73 and including header so 73 so my data is correct so now paint this is the easy way now now this one you can schedule also and no need to expense any money so now now the function is that how can you get this data into your google sheet because not only this script you need to do some setup so now i'll tell you that what is the setup behind this one so when you copy and paste this uh, script from my description then, uh, then after that you need to go to resource then you need to go to advanced google service then you can see here bigquery api you need to enable this one if you not enable this one it will show you error every time it will show you error and you need to enable google sheet api too so if this both API will work for this script okay then okay then after that you save this script and run now friend my script I gonna tell you one by one this function you can you say here is a query function okay and now here I mention my project like which project I'm working like here is the HAG ADS so ADS I work now here this function is basically my sql script i already query i i show you already in the big query uh, so here just you need to copy and paste so this one is called this big query and request this one project so next one is a check status of the query so if this one actually 5 millisecond 500 millisecond it will slip check every time and uh, then after that is it will create like if any error occur occur now next is i omit this one return null if no data return because this one i omit already if you want then you can you can open this function okay from here to here you can open but i, I omit this one because as i already have data so the next one is get all the rows of result like this one is row all the rows whatever this query get all the result it will place now next one is this one is result result in the spreadsheet you see friend here spreadsheet is i taken as a get active one active one means this one is active so i take an active one and next is I mentioned the seat name test so test is here if you uh, if you have different uh, different thing like I am I'm adding one seat uh, like uh, uh, this one I can give a test one and I want a different query then I just need to copy this one and paste here you see here test one so okay whatever seat you mentioned here that one that one will be the main seat for this script okay now this one is the header header result and this one is append the result like append, this one is append this mean this uh, query this query next day like example this table if if, if you have uh, any new data 
on it so it will automatically add in your script uh, in sorry your uh, google sheet automatically add like uh, it's some right now is showing that it rows the if i'm new rows like uh, another one so it will automatically add here 74 number rows and uh, that's all friend so here is uh, actually if if any uh, error occur or uh, any error uh, pr from your uh, table also it will show you error so here is the main thing of our google sheet data from bigquery to google sheet and now how can you automate this one like the schedule one so here you can see uh, view and so here friend here you see uh, an edit section you can see the current project trigger so click on that then it will redirect to your uh, trigger option you see add a trigger add a trigger and then you need to set here like run copy one I need head receipt and okay here yeah, try and win it will be time driven like, uh, like, like I want uh, hourly minute or day time uh, week time or month time then uh, hourly or daily or every two hour every 12 hour whatever you want to say and notify me daily hourly or weekly you can check it out and then you save then it automatically schedule this query and update your Google sheet depend on your Google BigQuery table. If it will also uh, update every hour or every second, then it will also update every hour and every sec second. So you can get your data into Google Big, uh, like Google Sheet from BigQuery itself automatically. So no need any third party. So friends, uh, this, that's, is all, that's all uh, from my side. So if you guys like this video and uh, if you seen that from video this video helpful for you so you can share this video uh, for your friends and uh, other persons also and you can subscribe comment like and share thank you friends